Well, here we are. We're out with uh, Carlton Fry. Um, you see the footage of him and his father came out here a few years ago. Now he's out here with his daughter and his mate, Carl, all the way from Aussie. And uh, daughter, she's been doing Marinda. She's been doing very well. She hasn't caught many big fish before, but she's landed a 15 pounder. It's a pity we didn't get it on film. But we'll um, see what we can get. Doing very good. Hey! Lift him up! Hey! 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 Oh! And he's down! Too much of a hurry! Did you see the lead? Oh! And on a soft bait, oh, off the rocks! Well done! Yeah, yeah. Took about a few casts though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got the knack of it. He took it right at the end. Yeah. You oh. just figured out now what he wants, yeah, eh? Yeah. Should we keep it or let it go? How many well, we got? we'll let the bigger ones go and we'll All keep right. the small ones to eat. Alright, we'll keep that one then? Yeah, put them in the rock pool. Alright. Because they will stay alive and we can select them. Yeah. Not bad, buddy. So you got the knack of it now, eh? I think so. Yeah. So you had a good hookup before too, didn't you? Uh, no, it was weed, I think. Oh. Yeah. When you go low, now grab the spool, grab the spool and lift up. Ah, oh, it's a rockfish. <laughs> this is the one we call Maui. He's the bottom. All right, we'll, we'll snap it off for you. Not bad for a beginner. <laughs> steady, steady, mate. Lift slowly. That's it. Not bad. You're becoming a good fisher person. Lift them up. Hey! <laughs> well done, bro! Oh, we fell off. Oh, I'm doing about this. Not bad. Now this is a good one to eat. He's legal, right? The other, the other one, your bigger one, we'll let it go because of the breeders. This is a perfect one to eat because it's nice and small. Well done, mate! Smashing it. Is anybody hungry? Is that what we mean? Oh, yeah. Should we have, some, have a sandwich, a snapper? <laughs> All right, half time. So what happened when you... I've never, ever seen anybody slip over on barnacles, bro. Like, must be your shoes or something. I was slipping on barnacles. I stepped off a little ledge. You stepped off on a little ledge? Yeah, I wasn't ready for it. And what happened? Like, it just you just slipped just off? I just stepped off a rock and I wasn't, I expected it to be flat and there was a bit of a drop and it caught me off guard. Oh, got you. Yeah. So it was like an uneven surface that mm. caught you off. Mm. Oh, well. From my angle, I got to see the whole Oh, thing. Yeah, I think I it was perfection. It was like watching a cowrie tree come down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I thought, my God, there's something, you might have plastic soles because what you find in a lot of shoes, they got plastic, they're made of plastic soles now, not rubber. Mm. And they, and they slip on rocks. They are absolutely terrible. 
You'll find them on rocks, but if they're rubber, they stick like shit to a blanket, you no, know? It wasn't a slip, it was a stepping off. It, it was a step off, eh? The last trip that we came and did with you, we bought some special mm -hmm. yeah. rock shoes. Like, you know, we paid like 60 bucks for these things, or 60 euros, we, you know, imported them, you know, had this huge run. Mate, we took them out one day, and it was like ice skating. No I way. I swear to God, they were wicked, weren't they? I mean, great shoes, lightweight, you know, they drained all the water out of them. They had a plastic oh, sole, I bet. You were gone. You know the, the old um, uh, Doc Martens, they had that rubber sole. You remember those old boots called Doc Martens? Mm -hmm. They were like a white rubber sole. Mm -hmm. Anything that's got that white rubber, mate, they are just like glue. Yeah, they, yeah Absolutely. You don't get them anymore, Fair you know. Well. Where I find the old sneakers, and I get all my shoes second hand from the rubber stump. Well, that's the reality, I guess, eh? you got to... Put your own bait on, catch your own fish. Now you can see why a lot of people like to do lures, don't you? They don't have to pay with bait. Yeah. What, you didn't, what didn't you like about the bait? It was all See, you haven't worked on a farm before. Everything's slimy on a farm. <laughs> What's the best thing you like about fishing so far? Catching the fish. Catching the fish. Bit of a thrill, isn't it? Come it? Up. Yeah. yeah. Just with seeing the fish when you've yeah. got it, what you've well, caught. When it, when it, when it bites. Yeah. It's like an exhilarating felt like that. Go! Oh, almost. Wind a bit, buddy. He's probably swimming at you. Sometimes they grab the bait and they swim back towards you. Wind a bit faster. I think he's stolen all your bait. We got one on. There he is. Keep going. Keep going. He's swimming at you. You see? There you go. Wrench him up. He's still on there. It's only a little, little, little bugger. <laughs> nice and gentle. So what happens sometimes, Miranda, is the, the fish will bite like you saw, and then um, you grab that nylon. Oh, he's, oh, you grab the fish and let him go. And then he swims back at you. Yeah, it's hard. Watch out for his spikes. So pick him up from at the back of the tail and under his chin. You see those spikes? That's it. Now under his chin. Now pick him up upside down and he won't flap. So put your head under where his eyes are. Your hand under his eyes. You have to hold him down. Hold him down. Okay. Now hold him upside down. Now put your hand underneath his, his eyes, under his top of his head, like that. Cup it. Turn around. Like so. There you go. Where you go. In there he goes. <laughs> well done, mate. Wow, this looks like a big fish to me, buddy. Let's get that line tight, you know. Low down and wind, go down and wind again. Now hold the spool and lift. Briefed you. Low down. Up. Oh. All right, we'll go really slack. Okay, let the bail down. Let's let the bail over. Let it go really slack. Let's see if we can feel him again. And just watch if he starts pulling on it. I want you to go hard. All right, where you go? Now grab that spool and lift again. That was a big fish, eh? Oh, yeah. Really. Keep going. Here we go, we're winning. 
Take your time now. Don't let that line go slack when you're lowering wine. Take your time. Keep it tight when you're lowering a wine. Woohoo! You double wrap. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Lower your rod and wine. Lower. Wine, wine, wine. <laughs> Look at that. Again. Oh my lord, girl. Oh my lord! Well done, that's a real high fiver! Awesome! That was what awesome. a fight, hey? It's a sad thing, we'll, we'll cut the line, but he's bleeding. And um, because she's bleeding, we probably won't be able to let this one go. We'll put her in a rock pool to see if she survives. Well done. But see all the patience you got to get it out of the rocks? <laughs> Hey! <laughs> How was the sleep? Good. Three fish since you've been sleeping. Oh, really? Oh, that's a nice one. Wait. Turn it sideways. Put your hand under the under the jaw, buddy. So how many fish you caught today, Mindy? Twelve. Twelve? Twelve! That's a good fish, buddy. Bigger than any of your dad's caught at the moment, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve. Awesome, eh? Give me a big Pretty we couldn't let that. it go though, eh? Oh well. Dad, she's kicking your butt. Who's the proud daddy though? Hey, who's the proud dad? <laughs> <laughs> and boom. What a day she Nice fish! <laughs> oh, dude, nice fish! <laughs> Isn't that a beauty? It's a heavy one. It's a heavy one. Yeah, you can feel it. Awesome. Uh, Right down to the edge, my friend. Woohoo! Lovely! Yes! <laughs> yes! Excellent! <laughs> that was a good fight. That was a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it, man. Well, he was fishing uh, 10 kilo main line. So I put a trace on, just a um, very short trace, and uh, just in case he got onto a big snapper. And then he got onto a big snapper, and it went all around the weeds and around the rocks, and he could feel it going through it. He almost cramped up on it. He was going to hold on to it, and would have busted him off, but he let it go, then he understood exactly what he was doing. Patience and patience, he beat the fish. 10K line, awesome fishing. <laughs> You got a fish here, young man. Yep. He's gone for a big walk too. <laughs> He's done the same thing, straight round the rock. Oh, is he? Yeah. Give him a bit of slack. Oh, is he off again? Just take your time on him. Well, that's a nice fish too, eh? Hey? Went off. Well, it's been 15 minutes, bro. Oh, is it moving? It might be really tired, or we're gonna bust them off and try and catch another one. <laughs> one of the two, bro. A couple of minutes, eh? Go on then. You're the man behind it. So anyway, who's the champion fisher person here today? The Queen! How many fish, young lady? Fifteen. Fifteen! <laughs> wow! That's amazing! So so where are you from anyway? From Australia. Australia? Whereabouts? Melbourne. Melbourne? Yeah. From Melbourne. You're in New Zealand, you caught 15 snapper off the rocks. And you caught three really big ones too. And your dad just can't believe it. How many did you catch, Dad? 
None. <laughs> the man that caught a 20 pounder. Young fella on his ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, young fella on his ass. Hey, but we learned a bit about that, eh? <laughs> Let's get a bit of, bit of exercise before we go out or something. <laughs> I really thought your foot slipped. Nah. But it was just your leg gave out. No, no, it was going from one high down to a low. I wasn't ready for it. And often. To, to get the feeling, it's just going to make the highlights yeah. real. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've had a good time anyway, guys. Good. Yeah, but hey, that's an awesome fishing day today. For sure, mate. Awesome, guys. It always is when we come out with you, brother. Oh, how's that, eh? Too good. And what I learnt today was um, people's footsteps don't go exactly where they want them to go. <laughs> and that young girls can catch fish better than their dads. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to hear about that for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> Until next week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good on you, mate. <laughs>